Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial from sysadmin 102 In today's video, I will show you how to fix the issue of unable to install all modules on uh, uh, Debian Linux, in this case Kali Linux for VMware Workstation Pro uh, This is a common issue, especially Kali Linux it, uh, Every time it, uh, you do an upgrade or full upgrade that upgrading the uh, kernel versions uh, that require VMware kernel module to be updated and sometimes it have issue uh, not all the time but uh, I've seen it happen a lot and with that let's get started so I'm going to go ahead and close it down alright and uh, we're going to open up the um, Firefox by the way I'll be including this link uh, to the github uh, in the descriptions First up, a uh, special thank to uh, whoever made this script uh, under the username mkubecak. Sorry, I can't uh, I can't pronounce this. Um, and uh, let's get started. Let's go to the install instruction to see how you're gonna run it. All right. So first thing, obviously, we have to download it to our computer. Alright, we're gonna copy the uh, git command and we're gonna open up terminal. I'm gonna change this to my uh, download folder first and then we can run it. And that should copy the file to L. Yep, there, there you go, the folders. So we're gonna do a cd command to change the directory to that uh, folder. Okay. Alright, and next we have to do the git checkout command but in order to do that we need to know what version we have so to find out a version it's easy you can just do um, vmware dash installers dash l and that would give you the version so we're on the version 17.042 alright so now we can run that command git dash 17. Point 0.2. All right, so that switches to the brand new uh, workstation 17.0.2. And let's see what next. Okay, so next we're gonna run the sudo make and sudo makes in tar. All right, and lastly, if you have any uh, VM that currently installed with the last, uh, you know, uh, before you upgrade your kernel, or you doing an upgrade and full upgrade for your uh, Linux system, uh, the make install is only release the existing module file, but it does not release the module in the running kernel if they already loaded. Uh, so meaning that we have to reload the uh, uh, the the kernel that um, you know it currently uh, running so that's super simple just copy that command uh, it's not have to be run at root user so what can you do it sudo commit us there we go and we should be able to open up uh, VMware now okay There we go. There you have it. That's how you fix the issue. And if you have any uh, more issue other than that, uh, he actually included, Kylie included the instruction on how to fix certain thing. And that concluded uh, today's uh, video. If you think the tutorial is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.